I have been poor and I have been rich in this ecosystem for which is defined as something such as a network of businesses considered to resemble an ecological ecosystem, especially because of its complex interdependent parts, right? So like rich people eat off of poor people, right? Poor people eat off each other. So it's an ecosystem where everybody is independent, is, is interdependent on each other. Now, interdependent, dependent upon one another. See, so the drug dealer depended on the drug addict, the church depended on the drug addict, the alcohol, the alcoholic, the, the, uh, the liquor store depended on the alcoholic. And see, all of those sicknesses the church then benefit from. You see what I'm saying? Because there's no cure in the disease. It's only profit in the controlling of the symptoms, right? So that's why people give medicine, right, to get you off of drugs. And you're saying, well, if you weaning me off of drugs with a drug, then aren't you still making me interdependent on the drug and you? See, this is what I'm telling you kids, right? Like, I have never been free, right? So I have been poor and I have been rich, but I have never been free. So let's break down free. Not costing or charging anything. Like to get everything I have, I had to go to the military. So I had, I was given an oath to defend the constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And for that, I was then given a trade. I, I was taught how to run an evaporator to make salt water potable water, which is drinking water. So see, this is why I'm saying it makes no sense that we have drought anywhere in the world when you can make an aqueduct, right? Which is a, 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 something for water to travel in. You see what I'm saying? So just like they have oil lines, you can have water lines. That's what sprinklers are. That's what um, uh, 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 fire hydrants are. So if you can bring water to a town, why you can't bring water to the world? See, you just capping it off. See what I'm saying? You, see, see, how about if the devil is over the ecosystem, right? So when would God, now let's break down. Okay, so we know Satan. So how about if Satan is over the ecosystem, right? Now this is the angel who in Jewish belief is commanded by God to tempt humans to sin, to accuse the sinners, and to carry out God's punishment. Now, if that is who over the ecosystem, right? Now let's, let's go back to that see because like i say once you you breaking this thing down you you opening up your understanding okay now this is the the first definition the complex of a community of organisms and its environment functioning as a ecological unit now let's go e ecological let's let's look that up over relating to the science of ecology, ecological. Man, shit, I get, you know, <laughs> see, you know, like I say, man, you know how they say you get tongue tied? I guess in the church y'all call it speaking in tongues. See me, I get emotional. And my daughter and my son understand it because it's like I'm going back teaching them and then it's like I'm crying on the inside but you trolls might be looking and saying oh he can't say the word <laughs> but um 
Have you ever lived through tears, but they internal because you don't want to make somebody happy to see you cry, right? It's like y'all watching me in a fishbowl struggle and then any little, you know, uh, misstep or whatever y'all laughing and I'm saying, but could you just come switch places with me? just for a second so you can see through my eyes how terrible of a person you are. <laughs> you, you're you terrible. But anyway, uh, um, ecologically, uh, eco, uh, eco uh, fuck it, E-C-O-L-O-G-Y, shit. That's what it was, man. Okay, anyway, a branch of science concerning concern with the inner relationships of organisms and their environments. You see what I'm saying? So think about that. The serpent has a, I mean, Satan has a God, right? In a branch of science. Now they call it Christian science. You have definitions in according to Christian science. You see what I'm saying? And that what tells you about uh, incorporate era um, you know, and, and, and how the manifestation of the divine truth is going to destroy incarnate error, you know what I mean? Which means with nobody, just spiritual. See, but if you don't break it down, right, how can you defeat something if you don't know what you need to defeat? And how can you build something if you don't destroy what is built? See, like, when you have to build on the rubble of the illusion that you have revealed, like, how could you um, take something out of a system, right? Now, hold on, let's go, let's break it down, system. Man, but I see, see, because it's like, man, it, it, see, I'm my worst critic, right? And so it's nothing you can do to me worse than how I feel when I'm not perfect, right? But I don't um, care how you feel about me. I care how I feel. See what I'm saying? So when you think, like right now, I'm happy because I have uh, something to figure out, right? But you will be unhappy because you will be wondering what's going on. See, because I know what I had did prior to having to figure out how I, I'm going to have to live in this fishbowl. And I have to control my emotions because if I lose myself, I lose the war against my serpent. See, because... My Satan, see, according to the scripture, okay, a system. A regularly interacting or interdependent group of items forming a unified whole. So see, when I was in the projects, I was in there with a body of people. It, I wasn't in there by myself. See, but, but the more you get successful, right, the less you see yourself. That's what I'm saying, right? Like when I was on the, when I was poor, boy, I saw my image all over the place, right? But as I started moving up the ladder, I started seeing less and less of my image, right? And then when I came back, right, then my image started acting as if I was one of those other few. See, and then that's when success became an illusion for me because it was always bittersweet, right? It was either you're going to lose your friends and gain this, this so-called illusion of, of freedom because it's costing you every day because you got to go on this job and you got to try to survive the attack every day every day right now you writing them up but if the devil is over 
the system, right? A regularly interacting, right? See, so courts regularly interact. They, they Monday through Friday, courts convene. That's regularly interacting. So now here I am, the devil is over the system, right? So I have all of this written documentation for a race of people who the Satan of this system denied them the right to read and write. How would they understand a written declaration? Right now, let's, let's look at the declaration. See what I'm saying? See, now, I said that I charged them with the Declaration of Independence, violating the Declaration of Independence, but I also had my own declaration. See, so which is declaration, a act of declaring an announcement that Folk Houses Incorporated was a free and independent company from this financial collapse of this ecosystem. And then I'm showing how my company was able to survive the collapse. So see, like when Jesus said, I'll build this temple in three days, I'm saying on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, my ecosystem surpassed and, and, and consumed this ecosystem. So you didn't even know see that but that's what i'm saying like you didn't know that it was a spiritual and legal transformation of ownership see so now my ecosystem is the system that i have to try to sell to a body of poor people who have been deceived in every way now let's go to deceive See, so once you break it down, now you should understand what's happening to you. To cause to accept as true or valid what is false or invalid. See, so you believe something, right? And I'm telling you the facts, the truth of who I am. And you're telling me what you believe, whatever it is. And I'm saying, okay, if you believe it, now let's break down belief. See, a state or habit of mind in which trust or confidence is placed in some person or thing. See, so you don't even believe in yourself. So if you don't believe in yourself, what do you really believe? See, who leading you astray? If you believe in God, is God causing you to sell crack? Is God causing you to use crack? What are you blaming God for? What you doing? So then you saying, then what you doing is God's will for you? Or is it God's will for me? See, who will is it? If you believe it's God's will, but you don't believe and my will, and my will is already done. Now you say Jesus gonna come and do his will, and I'm saying the story say that Jesus' will is already done. What he did was show you that the, the, the descendants of Abraham are the descendants of Adam. That's what he showed you. See, they know the law, but they keep violating the law. And that's what the prophet Muhammad says. See, this is what I don't understand about a person who was born after a fact, right? And you can now use hindsight. Now let's, let's look up hindsight. See, this is when they say hindsight is 2020. A perception of an, a nature of the nature of an event after it has happened. See, now perception, a result of perceiving, a mental image. So this, like you looking at it 
from both sides because you can look back on it, right? You can read it. You can see what happened. Why would you then choose a side of a written event? The event already happened. If you choose a side, now you acting. That now you're going to create the passion of Christ. You're going to kill an innocent person if you choose a side in a murder.